everyone, so as on title, I am gonna be doing a kind of wardrobe declutter, uh, a bit of a purging, kind of switching over a bit of spring, summer. I know our weather has changed recently, but I can, you know, looking to the distant near future, we are getting warmer and it is warming back up again. But not only that, I feel like every time I open my wardrobe at the moment, I am so overwhelmed by it. There's just so much stuff in there. Half the stuff I don't wear, half the stuff I don't reach for. Sometimes it's just not seasonal now, I just don't use it because of that reason. Like it's just generally not cold enough or, I don't know, maybe since the pandemic, we just don't socialize or go out as much anymore. I'm not saying we won't ever do it again, but right now I just don't feel like I reach for much going out clothes as such and I go for more of the smart cash. Um, even when we do go out for dinners, um, my style has slightly changed, I would say, over the few years. Um, I definitely aim for more comfort and, yeah. I feel like when I did my little, um, you may have seen my reel on Instagram, but Graham sorted out one of my sort of wardrobes that has shelves in and I keep like a lot of beauty products and then like my bags and my shoes. And I felt like I did a massive purge on my shoes because I don't really wear heels or anything. So I had like a nude pair, black pair, a black pair of boots. You know, I really went down to the nitty gritty basics. I feel like I need to do that with my clothes. I have a wardrobe in Violet's room that is rammed. I'm not even joking, it is rammed and I don't wear any of it, which is the worst feeling. I feel like there could be so many people that could enjoy these clothes um, or I could hand them down to my sister, charity shops, you know what I mean? I don't necessarily have to sell them. I'm not that interested in getting the money for it, to be honest, because I don't know about you, but I find trying to sell things secondhand, you don't really get that much money for it. And sometimes it's just as much to blim in post it, you know what I mean? It's not even worth the hassle. So yeah, I'm not that interested in getting necessarily any money for it, but Again, it's just cluttering up my life. I'm feeling really stressed and overwhelmed by it recently. Like I said, I open my wardrobe and I have no inspiration from it. I just get, oh, what I'm gonna wear today. It's just jammed, you know? So that is what we're gonna do. We're gonna go on a little decluttering mission. I'm gonna show you so, what I've got. As you have seen many a times before, me and Graham have the IKEA packs. Do you like our new little friends? Graham um, has his little five people from the Death Leopard, Leopard um, band. Yeah, uh, anyway, I just call them his dolls. Anyway, his side is that side, this side is my side. This is the Ikea pack, so you can kind of customize it. We've had it for a few years now. I love it. I must admit, I've got like Easter bits stored under there. And I don't hold dresses in here or anything that's long necessarily. But as you can see, like we've got a whole chunk of like, kind of jacket types, but also, um, cardigans and then we've got shirts and then we've got some like dress dressy tops here and then it's kind of like trousers kind of nicer jeans and stuff like the white jeans um linen pleather you know what I mean so yeah that's what I see when I open my wardrobe I'm just like I just feel like half the stuff I just don't wear or like I said it, it might not be really that much in season that's why I'm not reaching for it as much um, and then it goes down to my drawers. My jean drawer is completely overflowing. I feel like I need to get, just finally get rid of those jeans that I, I'm not gonna get into. There's definitely a couple of pairs. I used to always buy Gap jeans and there's definitely a few pairs that I feel like since having miles, my hips are so much wider. I'm never gonna get into these 25, 26 jeans again. Nah, I just, honestly, I'm just trying to live the dream right now, but it's not gonna happen. This is just the customizable top drawer, which I actually really love. I just find it holds like just good stuff. Uh, that is pajamas, underwear, that sort of thing, which actually I'll probably just pull out a couple of pajama pet sets that I don't necessarily wear in here. So many tops. I'd say I reach more for like either like the neutral stuff and then the stripes, and then my t-shirts are kind of more casual on home days. I don't reach a lot for the roll necks. I have quite a few roll necks. Um, but again, like I have a lot of whites and I just need to kind of get rid of the kind of, I don't know, dull looking ones. Lastly, this one is jumpers. But this is only one section of jumpers, right? 
I have three other sections of jumpers just to warn you. So we've got some jumpers that I reach for. There's a couple of like um, comfy joggers in here as well. I've got swimwear over here, which I do need a section for swimwear. I would say this bit is just stuff that I really don't reach for. Um, there are a few jumpers that I reach for, but I can honestly say that I probably haven't worn these at all in the past six months to a year I would say okay so I've just pulled this up so this is a drawer I've got my gym stuff this side which I could potentially go through but this is just more jumpers and stuff I mean just extra overflow these are like I'd say like really thick jumpers but honestly again I can't I just you know there's a couple of items I do wear from here but not many to... and like I mentioned I have got a big pile of jumpers that I just shove in this area there's just another layer back there and you can see the ones that I reach for probably the more neutral ones um, and I just honestly need to go through them and then on this side this is kind of more like formal wear blazers dresses some new dresses I recently put in um, and then like I would say this chunk here all of these honestly I probably haven't worn in the last five plus years because they've either kind of been for occasions I've worn them once I'm not going to wear them again to another occasion it just reminds me of someone's wedding or then I just need to go through other dresses that I know that I'm just not going to reach for there's a lot of dresses that I, you know, I have had for years and again, still just over the years, still don't reach them, still don't ever pick them up. Got blazers here. I could potentially thin these blazers out. I have quite a few, as you can see, in different colours and tones. While the lighting's quite good and um, I've just got a certain amount of time, I probably will have to do this within two days just because I have a certain amount of time, like window before I need to get the kids from school. But this is going to be a good start if I start in here the formal stuff and then if I thin out the jumpers as well I can transfer some of those jumpers into here if that makes sense so I can maybe use that drawer for something else or whatever so I'm going to go through the formal stuff because I really know what I like now and you know what I definitely know that I'm not going to use also there's a mirror here so I can either try things on I've literally just worn this blazer I get most of my blazers from next um, in the next sale, they reduced them ridiculously. So th I think this one was originally like forty-five pounds or something in in the next tailoring section, and I think I got it for like thirteen to sixteen pounds, something like that in the sale. So I got this one a couple of years ago, and I actually wore that last weekend because me and Graham, not last weekend, the weekend before, so we went out for dinner, and that was the first time I wore it, and I'd had it. I've had this for like at least eighteen months, but um, yeah, I love that actually. I really do love that, and I'm going to keep that definitely something I just don't have I feel like a black one this is again next tailoring a black just goes with everything I actually wore that to a funeral only a couple weeks ago but that's just goes with everything I've got this one which you probably will remember this is a H&M one navy floral I'm going to try this on I haven't worn this in years I do really like it it definitely feels a little bit on the tight side just only just a little bit it's actually a really nice long, if you can tell, but it's actually long. Um, so I usually wear this like with a white tank or something with a pair of jeans. I feel like it just dresses a really casual jump, um, casual outfit up. You can see that it's not so bright, but I do really like. I, I got this in the sale again many moons ago for probably like ten quid from H and M. So we've got this one. You may remember this one. Oh my God, I used to wear this all the time. It's kind of like a brown tweedy type. I've had this 10 years, I would say. Looks quite small. I've not worn this in a really long time. I'm actually quite tempted to get rid of this one. Oh no, it fits fine. I used to wear this all the time. Again, very smart cash. I do really like it but I think I'm gonna part with this one. I have worn it a few times. I might see if I will it, might be able to sell this one because it is in really good condition and um, it's kind of more tweedy, so I think it would be quite popular. It's like a wool, yeah, it's like 70% wool. Sage green, again, 
this is more of a cash um, as in like it's it the drop is more of a casual drop than the others they look more structured compared to this one it's more like a linen based blend of material sage green beautiful again I've had this for a couple of years oh, and again it's just that little bit of a longer length still quite new I would say this one I got last summer June summer next sale I think I've worn it once it's the Emma Willis collection see I didn't actually know that but again I got it ridiculously cheap it's the linen keep that I feel like that color is just gorgeous and it's just so neutral it's going to go with so many things when I wear it this one I've had for years waterfall cardigan do you remember the waterfall cardigans I've had this forever 38 pounds originally definitely didn't pay that much I don't think it's gone a bit yellow I've always tried to cover this one I think I'm going to get rid of that one I don't think I'll wear it Okay, I thinned out a few bits. As you can see, I've put the, the blazers back in that I'm keeping. I do have some other jacket coat things in my other wardrobe, so I will try and transfer, sieve through those obviously in a bit. Gonna try the dresses now, see how we go, but I, I did purchase a few. One, two, three new dresses recently. You may have seen on my Instagram story, so I've got, you can see the little checked plaid whatever you want to call it I for some reason just really just grown to love it so I got this one all the links are actually on my Instagram you can see they're nice and long I thought with a pair of Converse or like Birkenstocks super cute and then I recently picked up this one also from ASOS it's got like a tie back I thought that was really cute so I've got three new dresses I am definitely keeping we're going to go through the rest okay not keeping that. I tried that on more recently and just didn't like how it sat on my hips. <clears throat> I love this dress actually. It's just a really long, you pull the tie around the waist and it's just a really lightweight denim dress. Great when you got the kids. Keep that one. This one again. It's like a Matalan dress. Love that. Oh, see, I love this dress, but I find it really big. I might try it on again, but I find, you can see it's very wide, and I found that it was just really gapy around the front. And then we've got this one, which I love. I've had for years from Next. It's just cotton. They call it like the beach dress. It's just dotty a little tie I love the ones with the belts I just feel like it just pops in the waist a little bit um, I love the sleeves on it definitely wear this daytime with the kids again with a pair of Converse or um, a pair of sand like a tan sandal we've got this one which I really love as well actually got that last summer from it's Wednesday's girl but it's from ASOS I got it really cheap it's really pretty it's got like the ruffle a little bit of like colour for summer. I once felt I'm done with the defense. Throw back and climb over your fence. Hide to show, show you that I was a mess. So you were shrugging your shoulders. Some close stuff. That's what I told you. Soon enough, everything started to change. Cause there's no going back. No going back, there's no going back to your own life no Living in the past, we're over there I'm feeling it tonight, riding on the dizzying high Stop us. 
stars, sunsets, remember the color. I feel like I'm going through that moment of just remembering these certain things that I wore on these certain days. Um, you know when things just bring back memories of like dresses and when I used to go out and and some things like this I've had this for so many years but I feel like it's really timeless it's kind of just like a slip dress it's got like a um, like a layer obviously underneath um, so it's not sheer or anything but again I feel like it's just really timeless it's just you know classic looking kind of dress sheer dress that's comfortable um, I've got this jumpsuit which I remember wearing for a birthday. I'm going to try that on because I'm not sure how that's going to fit, but I do really like that. This dress I'm keeping. I wore this when Graham took me to Iceland for my 30th, and it was the most amazing trip. And we went to the Blue Lagoon, and they had a beautiful restaurant inside, and that's what I wore. And I'm just going to keep this. And it was it, honestly, I got it in the sale. It's Primark. It was. It was so cheap. I think it was barely ten pounds in the sale. It might have been even eight pounds. It was, but it just holds so many memories, and even dresses. Some of these dresses I wore to my friend's wedding. This one a few years ago. Um, this one holds memories when I went to the races with my friends. Okay, so I feel like they are less crowded. I am really struggling to part with any of my dresses, like these ones, purely because. I don't know, they've been bridesmaid dresses and whatever, but they're not taking up a massive room. I did get rid of one of these dresses, but I'm just leaving those for now. So I've gone for like more fuck like formal here, more like daytime, and then we've got blazers. That and that. So I have, that was all in there. So that's how much I've actually got rid of. It's quite a lot. Look at all the hangers, the dresses. I once felt I'm done with the defense. Throw back and climb over your fence. Hide to show, show you that I was a mess. So you were shrugging your shoulders and closed off. That's what I don't mind the uh, Easter eggs, and this is probably the side that I probably gonna struggle with the most um, because. I love jumpers and if you live in the UK you always need so many jumpers because it just gets so cold at least I feel like it gets cold and even through the summer you need a jumper for the evening like it's ridiculous but you do um, so it's not just a I wouldn't say it's just a one season thing apart from if it's like a really thick woolly jumper that looks like a Christmassy jumper or something or it's so thick that it is a winter like a really cold winter jumper but um, yeah, we're just gonna go for it. Riding on the dizzying heights. Remember the colors, they were wrong. It was way more than a dream. I am surrounded. This is where I realized that I do actually have a bit of color back there. Like, we actually got a bit of color. We've got some Christmassy jumpers. I've got three gilets. Um, I've actually got more. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, I've got more in the other wardrobe. These are kind of like my thicker ones. I would say I haven't worn that one in years, the green one. That's from Gap originally. This is one of my newer ones that I got last autumn, which is kind of longer. I really love that one, actually. I really, you might remember this one from many years ago. My Jules one, I've had forever. Um, yeah. And then I've got like, these are kind of like the cotton jumpers. I love this one, I've had that forever. You know, some of these, it just shows that I haven't reached for. Like, I just, I don't ever wear that one. I don't ever wear that one. I swear that shrunk and looks tiny. I don't ever wear that one. If anything, I've probably overworn that one over the years. Um, I like the blue. I got that recently. Well, not recently, but kind of like December time, <laughs> off vintage. Um, this I also got from Vinted, but it's an extra small, but honestly, it is massive. Okay, two Christmassy jumpers. I'm keeping two gilets. 
two Christmassy jumpers. Um, I'm giving this to my sister. She's 19 this year. So I think I reckon she would pick a few things out from that pile. Um, and then I'm going to make my wear, myself wear some of these coloured bits. I love that blue jumper that I got from Vinted. I love this one. Like, I remember wearing this when I was like midway through my pregnancy. It's I'm going to put the thicker ones at the back because to be fair right now it's just a bit too warm for the thick, thick ones. These would be great for like autumn once we come back to that season because we're, I mean it's like, I think my car was reading like 15 degrees today, which 15 degrees is actually not bad. Um, this oversized thing, I love this. I do wear this on the school out. I just throw it on instead of a coat for like a really chilly morning. So I don't want to leave that kind of at the back because I know I'll probably throw that on as a, I just use that as a cash thing. So I've got that. And then I've got a couple of my kind of more casual jumpers. I love this one. I literally can't part with any of these. I know they all look the same, but they're not. Like this one's a cardigan. This one's a roll neck. This one's more of like a slouchy roll neck love that one and then this one's more of like a shirt jumper i wear that one all the time and then this one's like a v-neck yep there are my reasons they are all different in their own way but i love the fact they're all neutral because i can just throw them on with literally anything a little close up obviously i haven't touched those boxes but that is going to be part one because I feel like this is going to be quite long-winded. I feel like I've accomplished quite a lot. I've got one bag for my sister. I will be topping that up because I haven't even been in the other drawers yet. I know she can fit in some of my smaller jeans. Um, two bags for charity and then I've got a pile of like bits that I think I could sell, get a little bit of money for. A couple of coats and a blazer. So, and this is all my spare hangers. So I think I've done pretty well. Here's just an overview. I will be topping this up just again from the other stuff if I keep stuff. But yeah. And then the dresses and blazers. So don't forget to look out for part two because it won't it'll probably be after this or maybe another video on. But um I hope it's giving you some motivation to actually get through your wardrobes. I feel like I've been sitting on this for such a long time. Like occasionally I do a little purge or I just like swap over like the seasons but this has felt like a proper deep clean and it's felt really good.